Hello and welcome. Even as we speak, officials of the Ministry of Environment and Forests are at the site of Lavasa, the massive hill station which is coming up on the outskirts of Pune and which has become the latest in a series of conflicts between the Environment Ministry and the mega project, calling into question the very future of the project itself. Joining me today on this very exclusive discussion is uh, Ajit Gulabchand, who is the Chairman and Managing Director of HCC Hindustan Construction Limited, which is, in fact, the promoter and developer of Lavasa. Thanks very much indeed, Ajit, for joining us today. Uh, as we speak, yes. that team from uh, the Environment Ministry is in Lavasa, and uh, I will come to uh, some of the allegations that they made against the project, which they're looking into in a second. But are you worried about the very future of Lavasa when you look at what's happening? Well, uh, this whole Kafkaesque journey began with a show cause notice from the Ministry of Environment, and which made some allegations that we should have taken their permission, where we were very clear that this permission was rec not required. The state government's permission was more than adequate. And after 2006, for the second phase of the development, mm. we were very clear that we have to take the MOEF's permission. Right. However, we got this notice, suddenly, specially delivered to us without giving us a hearing. And we were even asked that show cause why this should not be uh, cancelled or uh, on, on, on why we did not take their, their permis permission. Right. Before we come to the notice, I just want to, to put a little bit of what is happening in Lavasa in perspective for people who don't know. Now, you've been constructing here since 2004, right? No, we've been, we've been here since 2000, the year 2000. Right, but you've actually we, started construction we, in, in 2004. No, but that's not too material. The most okay. important thing is... So you've been there since 2000. We've been there. We were given permission by the Maharashtra government under the Hill Station Act. Right. They marketed the area in which we could buy land in order to build the Hill Station. And we began that process. Right. We were given clear permissions to build on the first 2,000 hectares on this area. Right. And all the plans were approved. There are some environmental guidelines laid down in the Hill Station Act itself. Plus, there were certain environment impact assessment was done by NIRI, based on which we also added our own environment guidelines in order to build this. Mm. So I think we were very clearly under the impression, and very clearly so, that we didn't needed nobody else's permission. However, when we were served this notice, it didn't come just as a notice for show cause, but it came with saying, also telling us for any other violations we may have done. Yeah. And for which we were asked not only to stop work, but to restore status quo ante 2005, which means destroy everything that was done. That's what I'm trying to ask you. Until this point, yeah. you've built a considerable amount of yes, the project, yes, yes, right? You yes. build a number of apartments yes, yes, and hotels yes, yes. And, and dams and so on. Yeah, a whole lot of things that have been approved in the first 2,000 hectares right. have been built. And You've already uh, spent about how much? There is about it, ourselves as well as some of the SPVs that have invested in Lavasa mm. have spent almost 4,000 crores on the ground there. Okay. And yeah. today, as because you can't ca uh, continue any work, how much are you losing? Well, we're losing about two crores a day. You're losing two crores a day? Yes, yes. So if you continue like this, do you think that Lavasa can survive? Or does this threaten the very future of the project? Well, it does threaten the future of the project. However, I think we have acted in good faith on a variety of actions we've taken. Hmm. And uh, given that the court was very deeply upset that such a status quo ante order was given, even the MOE have felt that it made an error in the word ante. So I feel that given the allegations that Medha Parker has made, and this, uh, we feel that the MOEF, with, after this inspection, yeah. might actually see the kind of work we have done there and what kind of environment enhancing uh, features of the project have been deployed there. And I think, I think we should be able to see something. But okay, so you're, it you're has been optimistic. A if it has been a Kafka's journey so far. But I look forward to it with some optimism on okay, this. Let's because we've done some that. really very good, good work here. Okay.